Hey developers, how's it going? It's Real Tough Candy from RealToughCandy.io popping back on for a little video today showing you how to audit a website. Your website, somebody else's website, however brave you're feeling, if you wanna take a walk on the wild side, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now this audit is going to be checking for a few things. It's gonna check the performance of the page, the SEO, the best practices, and the accessibility, and PWA performance if applicable. So first things first, on the command line, if you haven't installed it already, this is what you wanna do. Go ahead and type in npm install, throw up a G, and then we will type Lighthouse, enter. And now it's installed and I am ready to start auditing. Now I do need a URL in order to audit this. So I'm gonna go right here, I already have one pulled up. This is my books and courses page on realtoughcandy.com. As you can see, I have quite a few images here and really I just wanna see how this page is performing, see how I can improve it for my users. So I'll go ahead and copy this URL and to start the audit, we'll just say a lighthouse. Then I'll throw in the URL. And then after that, I'm going to add view. And what view is going to do is after the audit runs, it's gonna show me the results in my browser. And so I hit return and the audit starts. There are a lot of audits going on right now. They're opening it up in mobile. So Lighthouse opened that up in Chrome. And then my final result is in a different browser because this is my default browser. And these are my results for this page that I specified way up here, <laughs> wherever it is. I'm not even gonna try and find it. But going back to it, not too shabby, 93 on performance and solid green 100s on the rest, but there is some room for improvement. There's a lot of stuff on here, but it is color coded. So if you did wanna treat this as a checklist, you could go and say, okay, this one, I could save 0.8 seconds. What do I need to do? And then properly resize those images. Now, some of these URLs that you put into Lighthouse are gonna be looking pretty dismal. If it happens to be a URL from your domain, Try not to panic. I know it can be really dejecting seeing a bunch of reds and just all of these things you have to take care of. All these numbers are totally subject to change. And if you have a poor score, just remember it's fixable. And that's why this tool really exists to help you improve your productions. One thing to note, when you put a URL in here in the command line, don't just put the domain name followed by .com, specify HTTP or HTTPS, and then all this other stuff. We'll go to dailymail.com. Uh, if you just put this part in of the domain name, it's not gonna run. So dailymail.com, and then we wanna view it in our browser. Let's fire this off. And if anyone out there has ever visited Daily Mail, you know what a train wreck it is. Uh, and it's reflected in the audit about to pop up here. <laughs> Daily Mail has a lot of work to do. Performance for accessibility 64, best practices 79, SEO 85. Okay, that's not so bad. But once we go down to performance, oh my goodness, 29.7 seconds for a time to interactive. And if you don't know what this stuff means, you can just navigate over here and there's more of a narrative format along with some links explaining what all these things are. But these performance results are really dismal. Uh, and if you're having a bad day, just go ahead and plug in Daily Mail in Google Lighthouse. You'll feel immediately better about your life, at least I do. Now going down here to the opportunity section, they're saying if you want some big savings, start with eliminating the render blocking resources. That could save up to 3.63 seconds and that's pretty significant. What's neat about all these red flags is that when you click the drop down, they show the assets and the things that need fixing so you know exactly what needs your attention. There are 12 other audits in best practices that Daily Mail passed and those include HTTPS, page has the HTML doc type, and so on. If you're not building a PWA, you don't have to worry about this stuff, of course. But let's go back into Chrome, and I will show you the DevTools way. You know what? Let's make things a little more interesting. I'll go to a different page. This is actually a blog post. Um, if you're interested in seeing more of my techniques for scoring nearly perfectly on realtoughcandy.com in Lighthouse, the video's popping up right now, uh, especially useful if you have a WordPress site. 
but let me go ahead and open up DevTools and to the right, all the way to the right in this tab right here is Lighthouse. And so the user interface is a lot easier. You just hit generate report and wait for it to do its thing. Oh, are you guys seeing this? <laughs> If you don't see me in the RTC Discord today or tomorrow, I'm still on this page. But this method of using Lighthouse produces the same thing as the command line interface way. The one thing I do like about using Lighthouse in DevTools is that it is cleaner than the CLI. There's not windows popping up or anything like that. It's all on the page. But even though I got all this confetti, they're still telling me I could save some time by reducing my initial server response time. Just as a side note, this lighthouse in DevTools is only available in the Chrome browser because it is a Google product and Google loves itself. So that's about it for this tutorial. This is just a great free auditing tool that can help you produce better web apps and better web pages. If you learned a little something something from this video, please smash a button. Don't care which one it is. As always, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.